on the president again and tax returns that uh, a lot of Democrats have for years been trying to get their hands on. So New Jersey has an interesting way to force the issue by putting a ballot on a state measure that would that would demand the president either release those tax returns or have his name taken off the New Jersey ballot. To the Daily Caller News Foundation's Chris Bedford. Chris, I don't even think this would be legal, but, but what do you make of it? I doubt that it will hold up if it passes, and it looks like it could pass since it took Governor Chris Christie to veto it last time. They could probably get this through with a Democratic governor. But there were a bunch of laws we saw throughout the states when President Barack Obama was in charge with people saying you need to furnish your birth certificate. None of those actually ended up passing into law, and they were called racist and conspiratorial. But the they were at least dealing with what the Constitution requires of a president, that they be a natural-born citizen, live here 14 years, at least 35 years old, and you haven't already served two terms. In order to add another requirement to being president, I would think you'd have to get a constitutional amendment. You know, I'm always surprised, Chris, that these returns haven't printed out. I know there was a couple of years back when one page of a return from years ago came out with a large um, uh, loss with the... the the understanding being, well, it's possible that since that substantial loss, he didn't or hadn't paid any taxes uh, over the years uh, as part of a multi-year write-off. We don't know, but aren't you as surprised as I am that, that they didn't leak out? I'm amazed. In today's political climate, there's basically no secrets. Every single thing right. seems to get revealed over and over again. The IRS, it holds very sacred the trust of keeping people's tax returns private, but there are so many people who still must have a little bit of access to that that it hasn't leaked. Blows my mind. And we might see it this next year with uh, Democrats in Congress demanding it. All right. Uh, we do know enough that it was a staffer, the IRS, who did leak that one page of that form. I think I, I forget the name. But Obviously, they're, they're hungry to do that, but I, I just don't find any legal means by which they can force the issue on a ballot, even if approved by voters, and then take the guy's name off the ballot if you don't get what you want. Not on the ballot. That, that sounds like they'd be trying to disenfranchise their voters. It, it wouldn't make a huge amount of difference politically because President Donald Trump's probably not going to win any electoral votes from New Jersey, but it sets a terrible precedent, and it's gonna, it would cause a lot of anger, and it would cause people to look at New Jersey in a way that, hey, you guys are playing tricky with the ballots here. You shouldn't do this. Chris Bedford, always good catching up with you, my friend. Thank you very much. Thank you.